This is almost like tasting the rainbow. We've got the red, orange, yellow, green, blue. We need an indigo food and a violet food. I've also got some oatmeal here, watermelon, obviously, orange juice, kale spinach, and a banana drink. I hope I can keep all of this down because I've been super sick the last 36 hours or so. New camera, Samsung NX500. So what do you say we switch over to the new quality right now? Look at this thing. Hey, that looks like it's from like the 70s. It's retro. Oh, now you're gonna get a Samsung phone. Well, that's what I'm thinking about. This is a quality item. The touch screen is good, man. Come on. Come on. Ha! What's up guys, I'm back with some more commentary here for the next two minutes or so, and I was really happy with the way that deadlifts went on this day. So two PRs in a row, and not in terms of like a one rep max, but they were PRs at that given weight. So one more rep than I had done before on 455 and two more reps at 495, and that's the small things. You gotta look at the small things, you gotta look on the bright side, you gotta hold on to any progress. Progress is progress, and let that momentum swing you into your next workout. It's kind of like Tarzan. You're swinging on a vine, you grab onto that vine, and then you got to swing and grab onto a next vine because you can't let yourself swing back. You got to keep moving forward. And if you don't move forward, you've got to take some time on the backswing to kind of reassess and figure out how you can progress, how you can grab onto that next vine and keep swinging in a good direction. So after those deadlifts, I ended up doing some deficit deadlifts on the deadlift platform that I showed you guys how to build in a previous video. The sides come off, so I did an inch and a half deficit, but I didn't decide to show those because I didn't wanna to show too many deadlifts because I am taking this new approach with my videos. I want them to be exciting from start to finish. And I had that clip in, but I was watching it, and I want the whole video to be fast pace. I want it to be quality. I want quality to be the backbone of my videos. And I want you guys or a new subscriber to want to watch more of my videos when they come across them. Quality first is what I've always tried to do here on YouTube, but I'm going to try to take it to the next level. And I think that is kind of tying in with what I just talked about, the progress. So I don't want to look back on a video that I made last year and have it feel like it's the same video and I haven't really improved in terms of my editing. I'm not really doing anything different. And I've kind of found myself in that situation lately when I went back and looked at my old videos and wow, who is this white guy? Get him off the screen. I'm really white, I'm not gonna lie. But like I was saying, I want to have my videos improve. I want to be progressing and grabbing onto the next vine with my video. So if you guys haven't watched a video in a while, consider watching some more. Quality is going to be on another level from now on. So thank you guys for watching. All right guys, so this is the only time you will see me shirtless, and I'm shirtless in the gym. It's the first time in my life. I've never lifted without a shirt on. Feels pretty good. The only reason I'm doing this is because there is no one else in the gym. Gym I go to, 24 hour access. It's not very crowded here on this Labor Day weekend. So here's a little physique update. My abs are a little bit blurry, but I think if I cut down, I was gonna cut, but I talked to Omar Isaf when I was up in Canada, and he was like, you know, you're making really good strength gains right now. I think you should just continue on on your lean bulk, so I'm going to keep going. I mean, I PR today on deadlift, it felt great. My strength is going up, my body mass is going up, and I don't know how much I weigh right now. I'll go ahead and go to the other side of the gym and weigh myself real quick. So I'm 219, there's nothing else on the scale with me. So I think if I cut down 10, 15, 5 pounds, 
probably 10 to 15 pounds. I think I would look a lot more shredded, that's for sure. But like I said, I'm happy with where I'm at and the progress that I'm on. I can always cut at another time, but these strength gains that I'm making right now, too good to pass up. Look at that limo. It's like a Ford truck. Interesting. I think you'd only find something like that in Oklahoma. So it just warped later into the night. It's 10.20 right now. I've got to finish editing this video. I'm almost done about halfway through. And then I've got to pack because I'm going to St. Louis tomorrow. I've got to get up at 5.30 a.m. to head out.